Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Okay, that is Dale Chanel's 48th World. If you're not into it, get on into it, okay? You know what I want you to do. I want you to subscribe to my channel, and then I want you to like my videos, and then I want you to share. Share a like, okay? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hey, then we like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hey, then we like. We subscribe, we like, and then we share. Hey, hey. We like, we subscribe, we share. Hey, hey, then we subscribe, we subscribe, we subscribe, we subscribe. Y'all get it? Okay, good. All right. But we're going to get on into the story. TMZ came to the crib, had a little cocktail, broke this story on me about none other than an ex-OG, Real Housewives of Atlanta, claim to fame, celebrity, reality star. Okay, she's an ex, though, and y'all know who I'm talking about, the ones that got the two handsome sons in stage of pause. Yes, that's what we're going at. That's where we're going. All right, we dropping tea on her. TMZ told me, Phaedra's out there dating Claudia Jordan's ex, ex-fiance to be exact, okay? Yes, y'all know he's floating around. He's a little actor up there in Los Angeles called himself Medina, funky cold Medina. Don't get cold, Medina. Okay, not the rapper, but anyway, these two women, they have something very in common. They share the likes of Mr. Islam Medina. I think that's what they call him. I know he's an actor. I want to say he's, is he starred in Power or Empire? I don't, I don't really know, but I know he's an actor, okay? And Phaedra Paul seems like she's becoming an actress herself. And Claudia is just kicking all the way, but I'm just trying to figure out why she's picking up Claudia Jordan's sloppy seconds, okay? I don't know, because they weren't for an item. Now she's an item with that man. So I don't know. Y'all get in them comments and drop it down, because I always had my favorite. I thought she would get back with Apollo, but we know that's dust. We know she tried to have a storyline on Watch What's Happening. Watch what happens live with Shamar Moore, thinking, you know, she wasn't saying they weren't a couple, but she had got it going out there that they might be a couple. He had to cut it short. We, I'm pretty sure everybody saw that video where he got on Miss Page Paul. If I he ain't with her, that, that ain't his type, this, that, and the third. He went on to clear the air. Okay, but then she was with Capone. Capone, a little radio personality. I forgot where he at. He must be in Los Angeles. I don't know. Now she's dropping back, trying to think she's all in love and want to impress us with this Mr. Medina. Funky Cole Medina. Funky Cole Medina. I just got, <laughs> every time I hit it, I just want to do that funky Cole Medina move. Okay. But anyway, yeah, she talking about this is her new man. She done dropped Capone. Remember, she had made us, try to make us believe that they were an item. But he's like, I can't get with her. You know, I'm not, I'm a little younger than her. She's a little old. She got two kids. I ain't ready for no kids. He had to think that situation through. So he had to bounce on Miss Phaedra. But Phaedra come to be known as a little celebrity junkie here. I'm like, girl, you got degrees, okay? Honorable, honorable, good degrees that should be making money for you, but yet you still want to carry along and solidify yourself in this reality celebrity bullshit type of world. I'm like, it ain't like you're an actress, okay? And you solidified yourself out in Hollywood. You're on the big screen making moves of that nature. You're on a, a reality show that can come and go, which careers can come and go too. But I thought this was a professional career. You had went to school, had, had sleepless nights, trying to pass boards and all of that. What happened to your law degree, honey? Did they take it from you? Did you get this bar and you didn't tell us nothing about that? Certainly you didn't, because I'm sure somebody would have got some tea where they want to sell a story up there in the licensing department where they could have dropped dime on you and sold it to the highest bidder. So you must still be a lawyer, okay? Maybe you got some little infringements or some taps on your hand on your record or something that's preventing you from really solidifying yourself in the industry. I mean, you're an entertainment lawyer. Shouldn't you be passing out your business cards and trying to represent in the court of law or helping these celebrities, music, musicians or actresses or actors that are in the field that need representation? 
Can you not do? I mean, you are an entertainment lawyer. You're a professional, girl. What you doing out here? Trying to take these little chimps and chat. I mean, they must be making some serious money. Some serious Dore me up in the entertainment world. Because you just won't be satisfied till you get back amongst the camera. People filming. Like lights, camera, action. Okay, where's my... Spot. Where do I need to be? Cue me in. Okay. Get the camera on me. Get my good side. All right. That's what you're trying to tell the people out here in the community. That's what you're trying to tell us. You would rather be in the silver world of entertainment than sitting behind your big old old desk representing people. That's what you're trying to say. Is that what you're trying to tell us, Major Pause Girl? Because not only did I hear you were trying to cozy up and make your second husband uh, Medina, okay? They said you're going to be on uh, marriage boot camp. Now I'm like, wait a minute. Marriage boot camp. Atlanta Housewives. We know those names are very synonymous out in the entertainment field. However, it kind of lends to not having no understanding of the title and your position that you're going to be playing. Okay? Because you're a single mom raising two of adorable, handsome young boys. Uh, you're a professional. You have a law degree and you have a mortuary degree as well. Okay? You should be making hand over money, fist, I'm, you know, glove in hand, you know what I'm saying, ooh, like your yin to your yang, you should be pushing up Benjamins, honey, I don't understand, so you're trying to tell me a lucrative per career as being an attorney for entertainers and a person who has a license to bury people, um, you're making less money than being on TV, you said you're trying to tell me TV makes more money than the money you put out for your education. I'm not understanding, Frazier, because every time I turn around, you taking pictures here, you taking pictures there. You know, you call yourself wanting to be a model for one of the top modeling agencies in New York. You know, you building that portfolio. Then you still, you know, ringing, knocking at the door at Real Housewives of Atlanta saying, knock, 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 let me in. I'm here for my close up. Do you hear me? Let me in. Remember, I the one made some shade. Okay, when I was there, I lit up the uh, streets of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, social media. I, I did that. Yes, I did. I got my claim to fame. That's why I ain't on the show no more listening to Carlo King. Okay, but hey, I'm here. I'm knocking, but uh, uh, you're not letting me in. Okay, and they probably on the other side saying, keep on knocking, but you can't come in. Hey, keep on knocking, but you can't come in. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in until you change your ways. Oh, okay. I just made that up. Some of it anyway. It was kind of endearing. That's why I did it. Okay. But anyway, yeah, she keep knocking, but they ain't letting her in. So she just said, okay, fine. Forget y'all. I'm going to move on down the street. Seems like they got an opening position I can apply for and get. Knowing my resume and my history, I'm no stranger to the, the screen, the big screen, the reality screen, my Hall of Fame shame. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't missing no game. <laughs> That's what she probably telling the folks. But yes, TMZ dropped down and told me Phaedra is going to be a part of marriage boot camp, honey. And I'm like, damn, she going to be over there with Jocelyn? And her fake storyline with her um Beats, her boyfriend, Mr. Beats, or whatever they call him. He's supposed to be some kind of DJ. Ballistic Beats, I think that's what they named him. Okay. But yeah, she's supposed to be over there making moves and, and taping too. So I'm like, what the hell? We got all these allowed folks running around here on these reality shows. And and that's not a good show for Fajor Park to be a part of. But it seems like she's liking and loving Wretched Tree. At this time, I know that ain't a word, but we're gonna use it. Sound nice? Let's say it again. Ratchet tree. <laughs> okay, she's being very ratchet.
tortured out there. She just can't. She has been bit by the entertainment bug, and she cannot let it go. She will not let it go. Somebody going to let her back on their screen, honey. Oh, my goodness. But let's get on into it because we don't tear it a little bit too long. And then when I wanted to even really talk about it, okay? Because it's all a bunch of mess. That's what I really think. She's just trying to get back on TV and get her bugs back on so people can be checking for her. Because she got on, she just got bit by the entertainment bug for real. I mean, something serious. But anyway, it goes on to say um, a correspondent or a journalist wrote the article up on Phaedra Pars, uh, exclusive. They titled it. It says Phaedra Pars, ready for marriage boot camp. Okay. Not trick or treat camp. Okay. But boot camp. Not just any kind of boot camp, but marriage boot camp. I'm like, did, did, did Mr. Medina propose to her? Does she have a ring? Does she have a ring, people? Okay, but then you don't have to be what the title of the show. You don't really have to be a part of it. You just have to be a cast member. They don't care if you're married or not. It's just, just like you, you could be a housewife and not real a wife, okay? Look at Portia. She up there, okay? Ain't never, mm-mm. Well, we won't we won't really use her. Let's who else can we just really identify and use? Oh, I can't think right now. Well, hell, Kenya, Kenya Moore. She wasn't one. She had been on the housewives for a little three or four uh, seasons. Hell, Portia was too. One of the housewives, but she got a peach up in there. Yes, she do. So we're gonna go on with this story. It says Phaedra Parts ready for marriage boot camp. Phaedra Parks is jumping back into reality TV, but instead of her snipping at Housewives, she'll be snipping at her boyfriend on Marriage Boot Camp. Okay, yes, they told uh, Phaedra when she was knocking, she cannot come in. (laughs) Move it to the left. Move it to the left. Don't turn to the right. Don't turn to the right. Just move on to the left. Cause we don't want you no more here. Love don't live here anymore. We do not have a space or occupancy for you, Miss Phaedra Parks at Bravo's franchise of the Real Housewives uh, of Atlanta. We don't, and not even in the other states we have the Housewives. <laughs> Your contract has been denied and voided. Okay, moving on. Okay, back to the article. It says, sources close to production. Tell TMZ, Phaedra's already started shooting episodes. She'll be featured with actor actor Medina Islam, who she's been dating for several months. Okay, now keep in mind now, people. Not in the article what I'm going to say, but just notice that Mr. Uh, Medina Islam, he's an actor. Okay. And Phaedra, she has actress moves. So between the two of them uh, conspiring together, they trying to make a money move. They ain't serious. This relationship is not serious. It's fictitious. Trust me and believe it. But anyway, we're going to go on with the antics. We go back to the article. It says, we're told Phaedra and Medina issues center around her desire to move from Atlanta to Los, to Los Angeles with her kids so she can be closer to Medina. You get the picture? Are they ready to shack up together? Or what's the next step in their relationship? Now, my sidebar is it's fictitious. She's just making a power money move, and he probably needs the extra gig himself. And they're just going to set it up like that. Because in this article, it didn't say Medina wanted her to move. Okay? It says she has a desire. She has a desire. Not Mr. Islam Medina. Okay? Or Medina Islam. Going back to the article, it says Phaedra hasn't had a regular TV gig since her long run on Real Housewives of Atlanta came to an end. As we first reported, she was booted from Real Housewives of Atlanta after season nine. Okay, Phaedra told us she had no desire to return to Real Housewives after getting the axe. Seems she was just waiting for the right offer and NBC fit the bill. Okay, yes, NBC fit the bill. Because <laughs> I'm definitely sure she's not getting paid the money. She was getting paid at Real Housewives of Atlanta. But she does have a reality background show and being in the business and being with a prevalent reality show that's still in existence. Okay, yes, okay. They, but they probably got her in an ironclad contract where she's contractual, meaning they can get rid of her anytime they deem necessary, okay? But what is a uh, marriage boot camp? They usually have how many seasons? About uh, 
Well, they probably have four or five, six seasons, but you're only going to have so many episodes in that season. And then it, it portrays other entities, other people come on. So it ain't like a, a lucrative show she can be a part of and it just goes with each year coming and improving and getting new characters, okay? No, they change characters at each uh, season. So, you know, she wouldn't be asked back because that's what it's about. Couples having trouble. And if they were true to form, it would actually be people that have been married for at least a year or more and things are just not connecting. And then we get to watch it. But as you know, honey, they don't come, they coming up with their boyfriends, their partners, just whoever. Okay. They can just be girlfriend and boyfriend for three weeks and they on the show talking about they don't know if they need to stay together. Then what kind of shit is that? What kind of feces is that? They playing with our emotions, okay? And it's getting pathetic. But anyway, that's all I have for this article. What do you guys think? Is she just hungry for the television screen? Is she just hungry for attention? And why she is not? Why is she not focused on her professional career that she went to school for? She stayed up late doing assignments, papers, dissertations, and all of those things. Why is she not wanting to ground and solidify herself in, in the money she spent out in a profession? Okay? that she had to pay money for and study for and pass the boss for. Well, I don't understand. I understand why Frazier's coming or going. She just, like she's in a little tornado type of spinning. I don't know what it is. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is it true? Do you think this is a factual story? Or it's fictitious just to get herself back in the door of the entertainment world, okay? Because it must be making some quadrillions, a uh, bunch of bills, where she's not making it in the professional world, okay? The legit world, all right? But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.